if you want to see the size of under or over performers with the area chart like this this is how you do it of course like any other chart you're going to need helper column i'm going to put one called week one here another one for increment another one for decrement to week one you just simply copy week one's value like this and for increment we're looking for the positive gain we're going to say if open parenthesis this week has increased substantially compared to week number one we're going to basically find the difference between the week two minus week one like this if it's not we're going to simply say display na on your excel output and likewise on the uh on the decrement side we're gonna use the same formula except that we're just gonna swap this to d because we're looking for smaller value or negative value and hit enter after that apply the same formula right across your entire data set like this once you're ready place a cursor anywhere on the data set press ctrl a to highlight your entire data set go to insert on the ribbon under this line here you can expand this and the context menu you're gonna select to the area like this and you're gonna select this stack area chart like that after that, go ahead and resize and reposition your chart. I would like to delete the legend and the title for now so I get more real estate and maybe reduce the font size for the two axes like this. Once that's all done, right click on any of the series like this. From the context menu, you're going to select change series chart type. For week one and week two production, we're going to change this to line with marker like this. Once that's done, go ahead and click on OK. After that, right click on this gray area chart like this and you go to fill and say no fill and it start to look like that after that go ahead and reduce the line size select the line and press ctrl 1 on your keyboard and then go to lines and fills and reduce the line size to say about one point go ahead and do the same thing with the blue line like this and then after that select the marker and let's reduce the marker size as well after that close this pop-up window and then job complete